Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. So if you're new here, my name is Anushka. We're going to be trying some e.l.f. makeup today and also their new concealer. It's called the 16 Hour Camo Concealer. I think this is super affordable as well. Of course, before we jump into the video, we're going to do a post notification shout out. And today's one is going to go to Crystal Atkins. So thank you so much for your comment. And yes, I'm feeling much better now. My nose is definitely unblocking itself. I've been sent like a few like e.l.f. products, but this video is mostly to talk about the concealer. I've been trying it for a few days now, so I wanted to let you guys know what I think of it. And I'm just going to show you how it applies as well. So obviously I have a bare face right now. I've got a bit of mascara on, which maybe I shouldn't have, but it's all, it's all good. My under eyes have been really dry lately. Like really dry. <laughs> So this eye cream, this is the Hydro Boost. Hang on, I'm going to show it to you guys. Let me just pop this on. I've literally just jumped straight into the video. I realise I talk too much, so I'm trying not to do that. I'm using this Hydro Boost Eye Awakening Eye Cream. It's been good to me so far. I was sent the L foundation, but this is way too, like, way too pink for me. So I'm just going to go in with my Huda Beauty one, which I've been loving lately. This is in the shade brown sugar. Literally pop some on. And this colour is like perfect for me right now, but when I get into summer, like it's a bit more light. I'm just gonna buff this in for a nice flawless base. Right, let's just Let's just jump straight into the concealer. I'm using the shade Tan Sand. This is what the concealer looks like. The doe foot applicator is huge. Almost like tart shape tape. So I'm just gonna pop some under my eyes. So as I'm applying this, I'm just gonna tell you guys right off the bat, I, I'm not really fond of, I'm not gonna put too much because it's a bit more on the lighter side, you know. I'm not that fond of the doe foot applicator. It's really like hard. And I, to be honest, I was gonna get like a different shade, like purchase it myself, but like none of the shades like were matching me properly. I don't know, like this, like the coverage is really nice. I'm trying to blend this quickly because it does dry super quick. Now when I look at that, like it looks nice. When I looked at swatches online, like a lot of them look too like yellow or too orangey. So I haven't like went out of my way to get one yet. I have worn this though out and about. It does look nice, but it is a little bit lighter for me. However, it does oxidize, but only the tiniest amount. The problem I have with this concealer is like, I can't wear powder on this, like it's way too dry for my skin. I think that's a good thing to have in a concealer though, a bit of dryness so that it doesn't crease and this doesn't crease on me, but it's like everywhere else it looks super dry. So I feel like, again, this is more of a concealer that's good for normal to oily skin types because for me, it was really clinging to like my drier areas. And normally with my Tarte Shape Tape, like let's say when I want my glasses and it's separated a little bit in that area, I can like tap it away and it blends easily whilst with this because it's so like set in place. Once it's there, it's not gonna budge. And I don't think that's a bad thing. That's a really good thing because you know it's going to stay there all day long and not budge. But for me, it's just more the dryness. My skin's super dry right now. You guys have been asking me to try the Makeup Revolution Matte range and there's no point in me trying that because I know my skin's not going to like it. Although I do like a matte finish every now and then, especially during summertime. Right now, it's just not going to give it a fair review. It's like me trying a foundation that's only for oily skin types. Like, it's just not going to work out. You see? Um, so yeah, it's really important to tailor makeup products to your skin type and I think this one's really dry for me, but nevertheless, I think it's that it does have good coverage, it's super affordable, I think they could do better with their shade range in my opinion, and 
That's just it. I'm actually like freaking out right now. Someone just banged on the door. I forgot where I left off at because I'm just so thrown off right now. Like, what did I say? Anyway, start from scratch. It's affordable, which is always a plus. Um, it's nice coverage. Just make sure to blend quite quickly or do one section at a time because it does dry down quite quickly, like very quickly. I've never seen a product like that. And I feel like they could Im it definitely improve their shade range for sure. Just more like medium, because I feel like they've got a good range, but I feel like there needs to be more medium colours, like more options. I don't know. I, I think they've got a good base, like a good base of um, like different shades, but I think they can definitely improve on that. The packaging is great, but I just don't like the Dofa applicator. It does last all day long and it doesn't crease, but in some areas it was really clinging to my dry areas. It just looked like the Sahara Desert under my eyes. Like, honestly, it was so dry. So, yeah, and I, I don't wear this with powder. I literally walk out the door like this. To be honest, it is a really nice concealer for the price. Just bear in mind it's really dry, but I think I'm going to really like this in summertime, so I might get a darker shade so I can mix. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the concealer. Like, overall, it's really good, and it's only, like, four or five pounds, so what harm can it do? Like, it's really good coverage. You could say it's a Tarte Shape Tape dupe, but it's, like, a cheaper version of it. It does kind of the same thing, but I don't, I, I, I don't think the coverage is as good as Shark Tarte Shape Tape because I can st still see some darkness under my eyes, even though you probably can't see it, but I can. So yeah, I don't know. It's almost the same. It's not there. I thought I would try some of their like eye makeup. They sent me an eyeshadow palette, so let's try that on camera. This is their eyeshadow base. This is not the type of primer I usually go for. I might put some of the concealer on. It's like silicone-y, it doesn't give any coverage, so yeah, I'm definitely going to use some of their, it's almost like putty, but yeah, I'm going to put some of their concealer on, because I know that's going to help the eyeshadow pop. If you're asking yourself why I have mascara on already, I'm literally, I've literally just come back from work, so trying to film a little bit. I feel like as an eyeshadow base, this concealer would be really good because it's so, like, dry. Right, so the eyeshadow palette that they sent me looks really cool, but I'm not too sure, but I'm not... I don't know what to expect, like, with the pigmentation. It's the 18 Hit Wonders palette, which looks like this. Look, don't that look so fun? I'm first going to grab some of the yellow shade. I'm going to pop that in the inner corner. I mean, so far I'm quite impressed with this yellow. I'm going to take the shade electric. Oh my... Who's shocked by that blue? That's not too bad. If I don't say so myself. I'm going to try and blend those edges. And I think I'm just going to like pop some of that matte shade in the middle. Yes. Oh my god, look at that pigmentation. I think we're going to grab the shade Heat. I was going to grab the green, but I think this would be better. This is definitely going more artistic. I'm going to use some of the blotting powder in deep. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough but we shall see. Nah. Right I know this look is so like out there but you know we're, we're just here to have a bit of fun okay. 
First of all, I would like to say that this palette is so bomb, like honestly, definitely recommend this if you want to play around with colour or you've got an Instagram page and you want to do some cool looks. This is so good. The shadows blended so nicely, even though I didn't do much, like it was so easy to do. Um, look at that yellow, please. So yeah, that's all I have to say about uh, the concealer. Would I recommend it to you guys? I would, because it's so affordable, like come on. Just bear, bear in mind that it is, more, it is on the dry side and you need to blend it quite quickly. It's definitely not my favourite concealer out there, so I'm going to rate it like a 6 out of 10. It's not my favourite. It's, it's just for me and my skin type, so please bear that in mind. I feel like when you want to go buy something, you need to watch a lot of reviews. Don't just base uh, your influence on just one review try and watch as many people see other youtubers that have dry skin how they got along with it i do have to say in terms of creasing and coverage is quite good so bear that in mind i mean look at it now but i'm going to show you up close it's just really dry and this is without powder but yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching this video. I probably look really crazy, but I don't know. Are you guys liking this look? Maybe I should wear something like this to like the Mauritian festival this year. Who's going? Thank you so much for taking time to watch this video, guys. And if you want to see more reviews, give this video a big thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below what other products you want me to try. Make sure to subscribe as well before you go. I love you guys so much. And actually, before you go, watch this video. You see? Right here? Yes. Anyways, bye guys.